Welcome to Empowerment Echoes, the podcast where voices resonate to transform lives and inspire change. Shani Salmon Godfrey award-winning life and business coach, brings stories, insights, and conversations that echo through our lives, sparking growth and productivity. Every episode, we'll dive into the depths of personal development, mental health, and societal shifts, reflecting on experiences that connect us all. Join Empowerment Echo as we amplify voices that need to be heard, sharing wisdom that reverberates long after you've listened. Let's begin our journey together, transforming echoes into empowering waves of change. Welcome to another episode of Empowerment Echoes. I'm your host, Shani Simon Godfrey. And today we're talking about something where you all experience life changes. Whether it's a new job, you move to a new location, you want to set healthy habits or you're having health challenges or something unexpected. Life has a way of throwing a curveball at us. That's the thing about life. You don't know what you're going to get until it shows up, right? These changes often impact our goals and it's essential for us to know how to adjust without losing focus, which is often hard to do. In this episode, we will explore how to adapt your goals to your life changes, remain flexible and keep moving forward even when things don't go as planned. So let's get started. We are going to start at understanding the need for flexibility. Yes. Life is unpredictable. And rigidity in your goals can lead to you being frustrated and burnout out when circumstances change. And things does shift. Circumstances does shift. Here, we will explore why it's important to embrace flexibility in goal setting. Life changes are inevitable. Whether it's positive or negative, life can impact your timeline, priorities, and the resources that you have at hand. Staying adaptable helps you to manage these changes without losing sight of your long-term vision. Now let's talk about maintaining mental and emotional health through life changes. Being overwhelmed can affect the way that you perceive your goal. Also, being overly rigid can cause unnecessary stress. When things don't go as expected, flexibility allow you to adapt and adjust your mindset, reduce anxiety and allow for healthier progress. And we need to focus on progress, not perfection. We often need to be perfect before we move forward, before we expand, before we launch something new, before we move our career, our family, our business, whatever it is to the next level, we are looking for perfection. And you know what? Perfection never come. Perfection just leave you stagnant. Life is full of twist and turn. And it's important for you to understand that it's okay. The key is making progress, even if it looks different than what your original plan. Now let's talk about how to adapt your goals without losing sight of your vision. That is a big one. Because often when changes happen, we often just drop it and run, drop the goal, drop the focus, drop the dream, drop everything and run, right? So adapting your goal doesn't mean abandoning them. Not at all. Quite the contrary. It means recalibrating in response to new realities. Here's how you do that. Reassess your situation. When life happens, and it will... Take time to evaluate your goal and how your circumstances have shifted. Ask yourself, does this goal still align with my values? Is it still realistic within my current context? Now, I have done this plenty of times when I reevaluated, is this service still something I want to offer? Life change. I learned some lesson. I had some experiences. Is it something that I even want to keep on the table? Do I still even want to offer this, right? Is this business still something I want? Is that degree something I even want? It's okay to ask these questions and make changes as needed. Break down larger goal into smaller ones. We talked about that in setting smart goals, right? Adjustable steps. Sometimes all that you need to do is to break a big goal down into smaller steps. And you know what? It feels more manageable during the time of change. Focus on micro goals to maintain momentum. How do we eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Remember that when you can't Do the run you want to do. Do the run you can do. Revise timeline. Life changes. 
And when it does, you might need to change your original timeline if it's no longer feasible. Adjust your deadlines to account for new realities and don't be afraid to give yourself more time. If you're a runner, if you have a fitness goal, if you want to run that 5K, that marathon, and you got injured, and you have a certain date that you want to run it by, don't change the goal. Just change the timeline. Now you need time to recover, right? You have a loss in the family. All of these things can affect the timeline, and it's okay to shift the timeline while maintaining the goal. Identify new resources or limitation. A shift in circumstances may mean you have new resources available, or it may mean limitations have appeared. Either way, take stock of what you now have and how to adapt and to use what you have to attack these goals, to achieve these goals. Now we talk about adapting so we don't lose focus of our goals. Now let's talk about staying motivated when life throws a curveball. And you know those curveballs <laughs> is going to come. It's easy to lose motivation when life doesn't go according to plan. But staying engaged with your goal is crucial. And here's how you do that. Celebrate small wins. I am a big believer of celebrating small wins because you feel motivated to do another, take another step, take another step. During times of change, celebrate even the smallest victory can help you keep your motivation. Don't wait for the big milestones. Acknowledge every step for Forward. progress is progress reframe setback as opportunity shift your mindset from frustration to learning what can i learn from this situation view setback as opportunities for growth and adjustment rather than failure stay connected to your why revisit your why why am i doing this why do i want this why did you set the goal in the first place this grounding reminder can re-energize your commitment even if the approach needs to be changed seek support no man is an island and no man stands alone Alone. Don't be afraid to reach out for support, whether from friends, family members, mentor, connections on social media. Talking through your challenges can help provide clarity and keep you accountable. And you know what time it is? Story time! You know I love story time. So here are some examples of goal adaption in real life. Real life example to illustrate how goals can be successfully adapted to change when circumstances change. Here are a few stories. We're going to talk about Alex, Samantha, and Maria. Now, Alex have a fitness goal, y'all. He's on a fitness journey. Alex set a goal to run a marathon but face injury mid-training. Hint, hint. <laughs> Instead of giving up, he adapted by focusing on swimming and cross-training, eventually returning to running. Adapt. Don't lose track of the goal. Change tactics change your method start again sam had a career goal she wanted to pivot in her career so sam was on track for promotion when her company restructured she adapted by seeking professional development training in a new field which led her to fully switch careers and we talk about switching if necessary right you don't have to be anywhere you don't want to be i often see people stay in situations and relationships and jobs and ministries and things that make them cringe things that keep them up at night you don't have to do that you have one life to live and oh it's short so don't stay where you don't want to be maria have an education goal so maria planned to finish her degree in four years <laughs> uh, maria but financial setback caused delay instead of quitting she adapted her timeline and worked part-time while continuing her studies at a slower space eventually earning her degree for me i started working on my degree in psychology for a long time I'm not even gonna tell you how long because it's that long. <laughs> it's that long okay and life happened lost my mom you know went through loss of a child went through so much and through all of that I stop 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 and every time I try to quit I always come back to my why my why always seems to find me and I remember why did I want that degree in the first place? And it took me almost double the time to get that degree, but eventually I finished. Then I went on to get a higher degree and so forth and so on until I was able to accomplish that goal, right? I didn't do it in the time that I set and I used to beat myself up about it, you know, that, oh, I should have been finished with this. It took me twice as long, and but life happened. I had to work. I had to do a lot, you know, there's a lot that I had to do and reset. And throughout that reset, I had to, one, assess if I really want that goal in the first place, two, 
why do I want that goal? And three, make the necessary accommodation and adapt where I needed to. And eventually I accomplished that goal. And I wouldn't rather, I wouldn't change that process for anything because I learned a lot in it. And what I've learned is helping me to scale my life to the next level in all areas of my life. That also means the good, the bad, and the ugly. And trust me, there was some bad and there was some ugly, but there was also some good. Now, let's talk about practical strategies to stay on track. Here are some uh, actionable steps you can take to adapt your goals when life changes. Reassess regularly. I like to do this weekly. I like to do a weekly evaluation where I sit down with myself and I go through the week. What did I learn? what I wish I'd learn, what didn't go according to plan, what do I plan to do about it next week? And the list goes on and on. And I look at all areas of my life. And at the end of the month, I also do a monthly evaluation. I go back and look at my weekly evaluation and see, did I make the improvements that I mentioned in my evaluation? If not, now let's set goals for me to be able to do that. Make it a habit to periodically reassess your goals and timelines. Check in with yourself to see if adjustments are needed and make it if you need to create a contingency plan backup plan prepare for potential obstacle by having a backup plan Mm -hmm. i have a podcast episode on risk assessing your risk and planning for those risks you want to listen to that because it walk you through step by step on how to do that whether in life business anything this can provide a peace of mind and help you pivot quickly when needed Focus on what you can control. Life may throw things at you that are outside of your control. Most times I feel like it's outside of our control. Focus on the aspect of your goals that you can control and make the most of it. A simple but practical way is fitness. If you're someone that goes to the gym or if you're someone that likes to run outside, we know that things that we can't control is weather gym repairs, those things, right? If the gym is under construction, that's outside of your control. There is nothing you can do about that, right? But you can make a plan for what happens if the gym is under construction. Are you going to work out at home? Are you going to skip the gym? Are you going to go for a run? If you're a runner, you have to think about these things. If it's raining, if it's a blizzard, I don't know where you're living. If you have tornadoes and tsunamis and all of these things, well, I'm in Florida. We have a lot of hurricanes, right? So I have to think about it. Okay, if it's hurricane season, what do I do for fitness, right? If it's raining outside, how do I get my workout? And what type of workout do I like as a backup workout when I'm not running? So all of these things work on what you can control. And a lot of us guys, we're working out for fitness for health, not so much for looks, right? So we have to get that workout in so we can survive. (laughs) So we have to make a plan for what happens if we can't do the run that we want to do. How do we get to do the run that we can do? Do we get a treadmill? Do we run inside on our treadmill? Do we get a walking pad? Do we walk, right? All of these things we have to think about. What we can't control is what happened with the weather, what happens with the gym repairs, what happens with all of those things. But what we can control is what do we do when that happens? And don't forget to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness practice like meditation can help you to stay grounded and adapt adaptable when life change unexpectedly and I'm not talking about sitting down with your leg crossed saying ohm I'm talking about sitting down in quiet do you know how hard it is for people to sit in quiet be alone in their own head hear their own breath breathe feel their heart beating put your hand over your chest feel your heart beat hear yourself breathe think quiet no tv no cell phone no distraction sit and think A lot of times, all we do need is a good thinking session. Think. People love the book, Think and Grow Rich. They look at the grow rich part and they forgot the think part. Thinking for a change. They look at change. They don't think about think. When you sit down in quiet and process things, trust me, solutions show up. Even if it's not the solutions that would be our number one choice, we still get solutions. Things get loud, then we panic, then we start building up anxiety and all of these things. Think, get quiet. So as we wrap up today's episode, remember that life
life will always change and your goals need to be adapt. You need to adapt with those changes. You need to be adaptable with your goals. Flexibility doesn't mean failure. It's a sign of resilience and growth. By reassessing, adjusting and staying connected to your why, you can continue to move forward even when the path looked different from what you first envisioned it to look like. So thank you for tuning into Empowerment Echoes. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends. Share it on your social media, tag somebody and leave a review. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast for more insight on goal setting, personal growth. Listen, there's a lot of goodies <laughs> that's going to be rolling out throughout the season. So you do want to subscribe and how to stay empowered in an ever-changing world. Until next time, stay adaptable and keep striving towards your goal. Thank you for tuning into Empowerment Echoes, where every story shared is a ripple in the vast ocean of our collective consciousness. It's been an incredible journey today, and I hope you carry forward the echoes of empowerment we've shared. Remember, transformation begins with the smallest whisper and grows into a course of change. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube, to continue the conversation and become part of our community. Join our Facebook group at Empowerment Echoes Hub. Until next time, let the echoes of empowerment resonate within you, inspiring change in your life and in the world around us.